Hey guys, Sean here. So listen, Anchor Memories is your best way to blow the doors off of a critic's argument that the Mandela Effect has to do with like just memory issues or something along that. No, there is a reality shift paradigm game changing matrix glitch situation happening with Mandela effects. There are plenty of people who are assuming that it was a change, but they're mistaken based on memory issues or a handful of other similar deficiencies when it comes to trying to be accurate, yes. And there are plenty of real examples of actual reality shifts based on that person's experience on this world. Anchor memories. It's not that I remember, it's not just that I remember what it said on the side view mirror of a car, objects in mirror may be closer than they appear. It's not just that I remember that saying. I, I read that on the side view mirror probably at least a thousand times. Probably at least a thousand times did I read that side view mirror about the image may. It was, just, it was a suggestion, maybe closer. It's not just that I read those lines, seeing it with my eyes and reading the letters. I have anchor memories as a lot of you out there also have anchor memories of experiencing confusion and wonderment about what that may be closer was really talking about especially as a kid trying to figure out oh, is it what is the image is it does it look bigger and it's further does it look little there's some sort of suggestion about that the, that the vehicle or the, the image in the mirror, it's going to be closer or further away than it looks. There's a suggestion. It may be. And there was a, some curiosity around exactly what are we talking about here? Is it? Is it? Maybe? Is it? Yeah. Many, many times did I ponder. And I'm looking at the car behind me, looking at the side view mirror, looking at the car behind me, looking at, trying to like figure out, you know, it looks closer, it looks further. In the mirror, it looks further, but then image may be closer than it appears. So now as an adult, and I rationally think about what that means, the object in the mirror may be closer than it appears. So in real life, if I were to look at the car, it's going to have a certain distance away. But when I look in the mirror, it looks a little further back, right? And that, and now, it, now, <laughs> in this physical reality, this earth, this timeline, if you will, it never said maybe. It just always had said objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. But so many people clearly remember it making a suggestion. I remember the day. Now, th th I had already been saturated by lots of Mandela effects. By the time I heard about the side view mirror, I literally went to a major supermarket. Actually, no, it was Walmart. Well, Walmart Supercenter supermarket. I went to Walmart and I'm looking at the cars in the parking lot. I must have looked quite interesting. What is Sean doing going from car to car? I'm looking at the side view mirrors. I'm reading. There's no maybe. <laughs> Just like people were saying. There's no maybe. Objects and mirror closer than they appear. There's no more suggestion. I'm looking for older vehicles because maybe they updated it. And I knew that's not true because uh, ever since the Berenstein Bears changed and nothing has been the same. Hell, it was the Great Pyramids of Giza. They were all changed drastically from what I experienced a few months before the Berenstein Bears came and slapped me in the face in August of 2015. In March of 2015, the Great Pyramids were completely different, and I was blown away. Blown away. I was talking to my boss at work, just on, and she's, she's, she's open to this stuff, so I wasn't looking like a complete lunatic, right? So, anchor memories are a great way to destroy the argument from someone saying that Mandela effects are exclusively explainable through rational means.
Mm -mm. You have anchor memories. Another one I have is the Field of Dreams. And if <laughs> you've heard this before if you've been watching me for a few years. Field of Dreams. If you build it, he, they, they will come. How do I, how can I be convinced that when I watched that movie, they said, they will come instead of he will come? How do I know I didn't just hear it wrong? I was watching the damn movie and wondering who the hell they were for most of the movie. Who is they? Oh, it's the baseball players, of course. And then at the end of the movie, there's a, about a hundred or so vehicles, or some people will call it vehicles, with their headlights on, all in a long, long, long line on the road trying to get to the farmhouse, where the baseball field was. And I, rem and I remember saying, ah, that's who they are. It's all those cars. Don't even think about trying to tell me it was that it was he will come. No, I know what I experienced. I know what I experienced. Not everyone goes through the same Mandela effects. There is not two humans on this planet who have 100% identical Mandela effect experiences. That's not how it works. There isn't certain timelines that we... There's plenty of overlap, but you're going to get differences. All right. All right, guys, so... That's just a, a little bit of food for thought. I love you. Be good. I'll see you again.